hello darlings and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day or should i say amazing morning because it is literally i think it's like three o'clock in the morning yes and i am up here recording a video i can't sleep i just sometimes have insomnia where i can't sleep so i said why not come on downstairs start this morning early record a video and once i'm done i can sit and sip some coffee i've just decided to go ahead and spill a little bit of tea on some new release fragrances but before we get into it be sure to click the like button down below that really helps out my channel it shows me that you really appreciate the content honey So the nearest Sephora to me is about 10 miles away from my house. So I actually prepared and planned for me to go to Sephora. I cleared out the calendar. I made sure it was when my sons was gone, my husband was gone. So I could just have all the time that I needed to get right into these new release perfumes. So I did drive the 10 miles, honey, to the nearest mall. And I spent about an hour and a half in Sephora sampling things just going over it like testing all of the new releases taking my time so that my palette does not just become overwhelmed so i usually like to take my time whenever i am sampling fragrances now so i end up sampling burberry her elixir yes i sampled the new prada paradox Yes. So I want to dive right into the uh, Burberry Her Elixir. This is the Elixir de Parfum. So it is an intense version of Burberry Her. So let me go ahead and give it a little bit of a spray. Now, going into this fragrance, I did look up the notes just so I would kind of have an idea of what I was going to be walking into. Now, I do actually own the original Burberry Her and I absolutely love this. I love this. And as you can see, I'm definitely getting some nice sprays and wears out of this. And I did wear this quite a lot this past summer. And I'm going to say this past summer because summer is over where we're in fall and it's already cold here. I had to crank on the heat. Put it on 73, honey. Yes, we had to warm up this big old house, okay, because it was it's freezing now. So I kind of put this down now that the weather is changing, but I still wanted to show this fragrance because I want to be doing kind of a first impression uh, of the Bur Burberry Her Elixir as opposed to the original Burberry Herb. So I did bring it on down with me here in my office. So let me go ahead and give this a little spray so I can kind of be reminded of what I was actually getting. So right off the bat, guys, this smells very similar. These two are very, very similar. So what I did when I was in Sephora, I actually sprayed the Burberry Her Original on one wrist and I sprayed the Burberry Her Intense on the other wrist just so I could get a clear, crisp impression. And this also has a very, very nice atomizer. This distributes the fragrance so well. Usually the Burberry line has really decent bottles, which I really appreciate that from Burberry. So now I have the Elixir. And then I have the OG. Okay, so the OG is definitely a lot fresher in comparison to the Elixir. I'm definitely picking up a more of a musk. I'm picking up, a, a, it's warmer, it has a warmer base to it. And I like it, I really like it. But now that my collection has definitely headed in a different direction, the question is, will I replace the Burberry Her with the Burberry Her Intense? So at this point right now, with me changing my collection, I would have to say no, because these two are very similar. This is fresh, it's very pungent, fruity fresh, really, really pretty and pungy. And then the Burberry Her, 
elixir, I smell like an ambery musk is what I smell in the base of this. And actually wearing both of these on me, this the elixir is definitely warmer, but it's not enough for me to want to actually purchase this at this point because I really like the original and I love what the original does. This is definitely a lot warmer, but it's very similar. So yeah, no, I would not be picking this up. But I just wanted to share my first impression and also my quick thoughts on the Burberry Her. Now, this did last on my skin. I was able to smell this well after I returned home. So I would say within the four hour mark is when it kind of started to dissipate where I was not able to really just like run my arm across or my wrist across my nose and be able to really smell it like that. So it did dissipate after about four hours and it became a skin scent and it was really warm. Very, very warm, very, very ambery, very musky. So I do really like the musky aspect, but it's not enough for me to want to actually go out and purchase this bottle knowing that I have this and they are very similar. So I don't want any more redundancy in my collection. So Burberry Her, very nice definitely try it or if you've actually wanted to get Burberry Her or have Burberry Her on your wish list I would definitely say try the Elixir the Elixir Parfum the intense version because it may surprise you and it's definitely um, very wearable especially coming up for colder weather where they have in that warm musky base so I would definitely say try it but for me and my collection, this is a no ma'am. It still is a very nice fragrance though. So yes, that is that on Burberry Heart Elixir de Parfum. Now, when I walked into the door of Sephora, this is the first thing that I saw. To be quite frank, this was the main reason why I took the trip to Sephora because I wanted to really get my nose on this new fragrance from Prada. Now, I wanted to see what Prada is bringing to the table with a new pillar. I'm pretty sure that we are all aware of the Prada Candy Collection, which there are maybe seven or eight of them now. And I really wanted to see something a little bit different from Prada is, you know, they kind of strayed away from the candy side of Prada as well as the infusion side of Prada, which is a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more classier and things of that nature. So. So I wanted to see what Prada came out with in this day and age, the genres that are so popular, which you have that black currants and those jammy fragrances, those gourmands and stuff like that. This was the first fragrance that I actually picked up and I went ahead and I just gave it a spray. And what I did that I normally do not do, I actually sprayed it on the top of my hand. So I had the Prada Paradox on the top of the hand. I had the Elixir on this part of my wrist and I had the original Burberry on this side of my wrist. So when I tell you I was a walking fragrance tree, honey, I was mixing things Things, but I allowed them to dry down before I actually dabbled and spray something else. My first impression when I smelled this, it immediately put me in the mind frame of Valentino Donna's Born in Roma. Yes, right off the top. I said, I definitely get the Born in Roma vibe. I get that. I waited for a second. You know, I just kind of walked around before I smelled it again to let it dry down to see what it was going to turn into. So after about 20 minutes of spraying this, you guys, the next fragrance popped in my mind. And it is Yves Saint Laurent Libre. You guys. That is what I picked up, okay? I was like, does this have lavender? Because lavender is a note that I really, really struggle with. It put me in the mind frame of Libre with the lavender. More like the intense version though, because I really did like the intense version of Libre, 
but I liked it in the beginning, but once it dried down, I was able to smell the lavender and I really struggle with lavender. So lavender leans a little masculine. That is why I do not have any of the Mon Guerlain's because of the lavender in it. it. It smells pretty in the top in the beginning, but once it starts to dry down, that lavender note is just pungent and just masculine to me. So that is what I started to pick up. However, the Born in Roma on the top, I was in shock and awe. I said, I like this. I like where Prada went with this. I really do. It's modern, it's chic, it's casual. And best of all, this is a beast. This lasted on my skin. Prada really has something with Paradox. Prada really has something here. <sighs> I just felt like when I purchase another perfume, it's definitely going to be this Prada Paradox because I really loved how long it lasted, how clean it smelled. It's really what appealed to me in this fragrance. Now I'm being very, very, very picky on what I am adding to my collection because I am curating my collection to where it is a timeless collection. I am being very careful as to what I add and if I add something, something definitely has to come out. I just want to have a collection, a timeless collection that I am spraying. Not a sprayless collection, honey, where I just have all these bottles and I'm not spraying them. We are so done with that. I definitely put this on my list, wish list. That is my first impression. That is my mini review of Prada Paradox is that it's long lasting. It's very fruity. It's airy. It has a freshness to it. It smells so classy, sophisticated casual very feminine very pretty i really really like prada paradox like that is something that i said i definitely would want to get my hands on it and actually have a bottle because i know i wear this so that is my first impression on the prada paradox it is a yes ma'am to this one definitely added to the wish list again this one is prada paradox and the concentration of eau de parfum yes ma'am <laughs>